Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. What if you could build a net zero building without all of the expense of building a super insulated envelope? Jacob Komar is shaking up the efficient building world with his ideas about using geothermal to get to net zero with more heat instead of more insulation. Well, net zero energy simply means that the building will produce as much energy as it consumes over the course of a year. We've profiled many amazing net zero homes on green energy futures. Nearly all of them rely on building super insulated, super tight, passive house style buildings. But in terms of getting to net zero, I think where geo can really help is versus the passive approach, which requires, and to be clear, there's many different ways to get to net zero and not to say one is better than the other. But the passive approach has typically relied on insane levels of envelope and air tightness, and that takes expertise. Not every builder is going to be able to build that. And it relies on these cold climate air source heat pumps, which have their drawbacks. This is not to diss passive heated net zero homes. Builders in the Edmonton area are building them for $400,000, including GST. But renovating an old home to net zero, that's another story. Komar says using a 400% energy efficient geothermal system, you can get to net zero for half the price. We just recently did a little study on this where we compared what it would take to get a home to net zero. And in the passive approach, the big things are you need triple pane or quad pane windows. You need an R50 wall, R80 roofs, insulation in the floor, really good foundation, really good air tightness. And of course, you can get that to net zero using an air source heat pump or something like that. But what if you insulate less and produce more energy with the geothermal system instead? But we compared that and all the costs associated with that by using a more active approach. So we would only replace the windows with triple pane, but then we simply replace the hot water tank, natural gas one with an electric one, and then we just add geo. And really using the efficiency of geo, we'd get to almost the exact same energy target with a fraction of the upgrades needed. In a previous story, Green Energy Futures found it costs about $100,000 to renovate an old home to net zero. Komar's geothermal strategy gets there for half that price. You're really only doing three things, windows, electric hot water tank, and geo. And it's a much simpler approach, and we think in some cases can be cheaper than the passive approach. While you can use geothermal for a single-family home, the sweet spot is medium-scale projects, such as a social housing project Komar worked on. We just worked on a social housing project, North Glenora, where we had a church and townhomes on the same site. And those buildings shared the same system, essentially became a community system. And the awesome advantage of that, especially when you have differing building types, is some buildings will be cooling dominant, so they'll be dumping heat into that loop. And then the other building can use that heat, and that reduces the size of the system. The system is solar-powered, uses one geothermal system to heat 16 townhomes and a church, and has no gas hookup or bill. The result? Canada's first net-zero church and social housing project. If Komar is right, we can expect to see many more of these community-scale projects in the future. Check back with us next week for part two in our series on the geothermal revival. Learn more at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.